everybody, it's Anya, the Adult Doll and Toy Collector. Welcome back to the Small Plastic World. Today, I've got yet another thrift shop makeover doll. This is a high school musical Troy doll from the 2000s. I've never seen high school musical. I, I know about it. I'm a little older than their target market. <clears throat> and of course, I saw the dolls in the store because I was collecting at the time. And I didn't buy any at the time. But you know, when I found him in that box, I thought he was a cute doll. And and in the movie, this character, Troy Bolton, is played by the actor Zac Efron. At first, I wasn't sure that I thought the doll looked like Zac Efron, but the more I look at this doll, the more I think he does. What do you think? In any case, I think he's a really cute doll. I was doing some internet research to see if I could figure out exactly which doll this is, and I couldn't figure it out. So if you happen to know, you know, exactly which Troy doll this is, please comment and let me know. This doll is the same size as like a standard Ken doll, but I know that Mattel also made a series of High School Musical dolls that were smaller, so they were more the size of the original Skipper. I actually have one of those smaller Gabriella dolls. I showed her in a previous video a while back, but I thrifted her as well. I don't think I've shown it in a previous video, but I also thrifted a smaller Sharpay doll. I think years ago I saw somebody had put the Sharpay doll head on, you know, like a Barbie size body and it looked really good. So I was intending to do that and I never got around to it. So I'm just going to leave her as this. So I'll make a video with her someday. So let's take a look. He has painted blue eyes and he's got rooted hair and it's several colors which is kind of nice so it kind of looks like he's got highlights that are really obvious here in the front and it's always fun to have you know like a Ken kind of a doll with rooted hair the doll has nine points of articulation so he can move his head his arms go out to the side and of course they go back and forth he has articulated elbows and he can bend at the hip to sit of course and he's got the bend and click knees. So that's nice too. And I wanted to show you the surprise that was waiting for me when I took off the shirt. Apparently this was a singing doll and I didn't notice because he had that shirt on in the box at the thrift shop. And honestly, if I had known that, I might not have picked him up. Sorry, doll. Mainly because I was a little concerned about cleaning up the doll with this mechanism, but honestly, it didn't work anyway. So I couldn't have really messed it up, but I did try to be very careful just not to get a lot of water in his body. And it looks like there's some kind of like a battery compartment here. And then here's the button that you push. Does it work? So I might be able to use a screwdriver and open this and I don't know, maybe I could get him working again, but I don't really need him to make noise or sing or anything, so it's fine. But Troy has a very interesting elbow joint. I kind of think they use this elbow joint on like the hot skating Ken, which I used to have and he fell victim to my silly downsizing, but it's kind of almost like the monster high joints where it's a little peg inserted into the upper arm part and then it swings from there and it also rotates and he can kind of touch his face like this and I've just redressed him in some Ken clothes. This shirt came with Cali Guy Blaine. It opens and closes in the back with some Velcro. The shirt is this really nice you know soft woven cotton t-shirt material. I like that it has longer sleeves and that there's two different colors and then I just put him in a pair of cotton khaki Ken shorts. They've got some nice stitched detail and they open and close in the back with velcro and just this cute pair of ken sandals i like these shoes because they have a defined right and left shoe which i think is a cool detail one note about this doll because he's a little bit older so he has that older ken body some newer ken clothes and shoes didn't really fit him very well so i was glad i had some you know older pieces on hand that he would fit into perfectly this is the sleeveless shirt that he was wearing in the box and it cleaned up very nice it's a nice soft woven cotton kind of like a t-shirt material and then this piece across the front it feels like a ribbon and it says fashion. The piece is not tagged, so I don't know if it's a Mattel item of clothing. It opens and closes with Velcro. And I did some internet searching to see if I could figure out, you know, if this was a fashion piece that came with one of the high school musical dolls or something. And I didn't see it. So if you recognize this and you know where it comes from, please comment and let me know. So are you a high school musical fan? Have you seen all the movies? 
and apparently the series. Do you have any of these dolls? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for joining me to take a look at this super cute high school musical Troy doll. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.